Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is likely my favorite of uh, the new kits. It's the Kings Drinking Game Kit. Now, a lot of you may have, may know the game Kings. A lot of you may not. Uh, I'll get to that later. Uh, right now, all you need to know is this microprocessor is randomly generating a, uh, a value between 2 and Ace. It's like a deck of cards. Uh, there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. Ace being down here two being down here. As soon as you power it on, you've got a regulator on your 5 volt regulator powering a PIC uh, 18F1220. Uh, we'll press a button. And that would be Jack. Guys drink. It tells you the rule right beside it. You guys can't see it because the writing is very small. This is Rev1. I've taken the sh shuffle button out of the equation. It's not going to be a part of this circuit because I found on New Year's Eve when a whole bunch of my friends and I were playing this, it got a little bit sloppy. People kept pressing the shuffle button. So I'm removing that from the equation. So you keep pressing it. Each card can only be landed on four times, just just like a card game. This takes the cards out of the sequence and makes things go a little bit faster. It's also a little bit cleaner. Uh, this is Queen, gals drink. So all the girls would drink. All the girls playing the game anyway. So you can actually play this with a 9-volt battery for hours. A 9-volt battery will be fine. You're just essentially powering an LED you know, at once. Uh, the PIC 18F1220 doesn't require very much power. The circuit's very simple. The program is what's a bit more complicated, and I'll put that in at instructables.com. In fact, you can find the schematic for this at instructables.com, as well as the program. So, uh, uh, this video will serve to show you how to put the kit together, because I've made a kit. Uh, I've played this game twice with my girlfriends, once with my girlfriend's family, and once with, uh, with uh, a whole bunch of my friends on New Year's Eve, and it was a hit. It's much less me it's much less messy than playing the actual card game, and trust me, it's actually not very much different. It's uh, once all 52 cards have been played, uh, what happens is there's a quick delay on the last LED, and then a shuffle sequence begins. So what I'll do is before I show you the assembly of the instruction video, I'll actually sh skip ahead, click 52 times, and I'll show you the shuffle sequence. So you know the game is over. I believe I'm on the 51th card, so I think I'll press this again. Now once it it's done choosing the card, which should be the last card in the deck, it'll wait a second and then it'll go through the, the shuffle sequence. And that's the, re that's the shuffle sequence showing you that the game is over and you're ready to play again. However, one game of Kings is usually enough. Anyway, again, go to instructables.com to get the schematic and the, uh, the, uh, an explanation on how to play the game and as well I'll make the software available too. Now this kit can again be available is again available at electroniclessons.com through electroniclessons.com you can find our eBay store it's also available at engineeringshock.com so have a look we'll also be selling these with different colored LEDs so you'll have the option of strictly red or red green and yellow so let's put one together the components that make up this kit are the following printed circuit board 13 LEDs a monetary push button switch a 10k ohm resistor, 13 470 ohm resistors, a 78L05 5 volt regulator at 100 milliamps max, a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. This can be substituted for, for anywhere from 10 to 100, but what comes with it is a the kit is a uh, 10 microfarad, a 0 0.1 microfarad decoupling ceramic capacitor, a power terminal block, a programmed pick. 18F1220 microchip and an 18 pin uh, dip socket. So, first of all, let's do our resistors. Make sure to solder the 10K resistor into R14, right to the left of the shuffle switch. Now, we're not going to actually be adding a shuffle switch, this is not implemented in this version. Only the card button will be implemented. But make sure not to, to populate R15 with the 10K resistor, make sure to use R14. We've got uh, from all of these are 470 ohm resistors between R1 and R13. Very easy to solder in. Resistors have no polarity, so solder them right into place. Uh, now we're going to do the capacitors. Now we've got a 0.1 microfarad capacitor on C1. It's ceramic, so there's no polarity. Put it in either way, doesn't matter. Here we've got a 10 microfarad capacitor, smoothing capacitor, which is placed into C2. However, there is a polarity. Notice the longer leg is the positive, the shorter leg is the negative. There is a positive or a plus sign. 
It's very hard to see, but it's right here on the top. So facing the LEDs is your plus symbol. That's where you want to place your long lead. The short lead, right here, will be, or will be placed right here. That's your negative. Your 78LO5 5 volt regulator looks a lot like a transistor. This regulates 5 volts to our, to our circuit. So what you'll notice from the footprint is that there's a curved side on the bottom here and there's a flat side. Make sure that from a bird's eye view you're placing it the right way because the transistor has a curved side and a flat side. The flat side of the, uh, sorry, the regulator uh, has writing on it. It should say 78LO5. So solder those into place. Next we'll do the terminal block in the socket and the button and then lastly we'll do the LEDs and do a test. Next we've got our terminal block. Only fits, it, only, it fits in both ways, but you want the spring terminals to face outwards. You don't want them to face the resistors. So make sure that when you, you place it, you place it like this into the holes and solder it. Next, what you're going to want to do is solder your socket. Now, there's a little notch on the left side of the socket that matches a notch on the footprint. The little notch uh, is an indicator. You want to make sure you match the notch right here to the notch right here on the, on the PIC 18F122 footprint. Place that and then there's a notch on the IC itself that should be matched with the socket because if you turn this around you're gonna have a bad day you're likely gonna destroy your IC your circuits not gonna work so make sure you line all three no notches up the button should be placed not in the shuffle button place or footprint but it should be placed in the card footprint it only fits in one way it should pop right in so solder that up and we'll worry about the LEDs Lastly, we just have to worry about the LEDs. Now, of all 13 LEDs, they're all red. Uh, I will be listing this, uh, listing this so that you can buy them in Technicolor LEDs as well, such as uh, red, green, and yellow. But this one's all red. So each LED, like all LEDs, uh, all through whole LEDs, that is, have two leads, one short, one's long. The short lead is your negative, or your cathode, and the long lead is your positive, also called an, called an anode. On the footprint, there is a flat side of the footprint and a rounded side of the footprint. The flat side of the footprint, which is the which is the side uh, closest to the uh, pick, is your negative. The flat side's all on the bottom here. The rounded side is your is your positive side. So place your long leads in the upper pins and your shorter leads in the negative pins on the flat side of the footprint. Do that for all L all, all 13 LEDs and we'll test it. I'm all done. I'm gonna power it up. Press my card button, and it works. Every LED lights up. If we find that some of the LEDs don't light up, you've either got the LEDs backwards or you haven't soldered them correctly. So that's the King's Drinking Game. Uh, we're going to sell this fully assembled as well in case you're lazy or don't want to put the kit together. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, this can be found, uh, the uh, software and the schematic can be found at instructables.com. Uh, enjoy, and thanks again for watching, everyone. Happy New Year.